in peace. I didn't come to destroy the law. I don't want you to think that I come to destroy that law that we just read in Leviticus 11. He did not come to destroy that law. Read. But to fulfill. He came to fulfill. What did Christ come to fulfill? The Christ comes to fulfill, so it's okay for you to eat part. Who knows what it is that Christ came to fulfill? Christ came to fulfill the law. He died for you. So that you can have that. That's what he did. You heard that he did. You heard that he did. That means adultery. That means adultery. He I'm, has not to I'm not running. Right. Right. He didn't remove those things. We're talking about recording. We can sit down. He's still in the back. What you, you do know in God's word. He's not going to talk. For fear of your sin to you, to heaven and earth pass. To heaven and earth pass. He said, this is what I said to you. That's all y'all said. He said, what we don't do. I don't know what other church is, but what we don't do. We don't be rude to people. We don't look down on people. We don't do that. So just ask y'all out here preaching. I mean, they're preaching. I'm willing to sit down and listen. I'm willing to sit down and talk. So I'll take out my time and my schedule and things I have to do to hear them. I know you guys remember. There's a brother in law. 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 There's a we don't understand the church that cities on Sunday, hey, is not and that's the reason why the church is violent. Most of our people is steadily increasing. So now, you understand what I'm saying? So, so we've been going to church for a long time, sir. For a long time. And our community is getting worse. worse. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say would you agree with that? No, no absolutely. So I will say this. This is both for men and women. Like I said, I'm getting ready to go. I will say this. I'll follow y'all to the Two seconds is not going to read the Book of Job, chapter 3, verse 1. After this, opened Job his mouth and cursed his day. His day is the day he was born. He cursed his day. And Job spake and said, Let the day perish wherein I was born. We never celebrate a birthday. You see, that's what I mean. We got to have a conversation because that's contextual. Job was going through anguish. He was going. He had lost everything he had. So whenever you go through a situation, like, Colossians chapter two verse eight. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Notice it says philosophy and vain deceit. After, After the tradition of me, that's the key right here. Tradition of men, meaning if it's not backed up here, it's a tradition of men. When you celebrate your son, your daughter, your mother, your grandmother, any birthday, that's a tradition of men. He said, Beware of that. It should be not spoiled. It should be 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 spoiled. Philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Philosophies and names, traditions. Now, I would give y'all.
y'all the, the, the art of uh, you know, celebrating Christmas. I said, no, I would give you that because that's man. I would give you that. Now, 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 holiday, I give you that. Fourth of July, Juneteenth, all of that. But God gave us a gift, which is about you. And you know that you are a gift. Now, 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 so, so you can do that so every day. day. There you go. Every single day. So as not on that one day. So honor me. So this is where I agree with y'all. Let's do it. We do it in my school. Take care of my children. And out there we get to them. We teach to them every single day. Now the day they are born. It's just simply the day that we get to them. God gave me to us the day. I don't consider that. To be a man. I don't consider that. To be a uh, governmental celebration. That's not the case. Especially, especially when, now, if I, if I were to go ascribe to what you're saying, then why would we do that one time? Why, why would they celebrate one time? I don't know. I don't understand. That, that was the Messiah. They, they knew at that time, the Messiah gave those men a vision. That's the Messiah. It just wasn't the Messiah. It was just the Messiah that was wrote about. No. Because the wise men didn't have one assignment. That was the assignment that was written to about them. They went to kings. They went to royalty. They celebrated everything. Yes, they did. They got Egypt right now. They did. They did. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this last one, I got to go. Then we're going to sit down. But the Genesis like 40 and verse 20. Before you read the count. When you read in the Bible about the customs of birthday, even not even you know the Bible celebrated those customs. Every time a birthday was celebrated in the Bible, someone was getting killed. That's right. Okay, well, we just have to talk. So you have your scriptures, I have mine. But, but again, we talk this. Let's talk about Genesis chapter 40 and verse 2. And it came to pass the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday. Day. It was Pharaoh. Pharaoh's birthday. Pharaoh, a that he made a feast went against the unto all his so servants. The point is, this is no. Pharaoh celebrating his birthday. You're going to read about Israelites celebrating their birthday. That don't count. It's not in the Bible. That, don't that, don't count. Count. that he made a feast unto all his servants. That he made a feast. Again, that's a tradition of men. I don't ascribe to the God of Pharaoh. If I was a sinner, I would hear it. Don't serve it. Didn't I say earlier he's worshiping, celebrating his son? Celebrating, not worshiping. Two totally different things. Worship is a way of life, it's a lifestyle. You can change your intimacy. Right? No, no, it's a The point is this. There's those two totally different things. That's the only point. That's the only point. That's the only point. Because right. in Deuteronomy Ever, 22, not even himself. Five, he gave think about what they attached to Christmas. What are they attached to Christmas? You must wear your what is Christmas eye about eye according eye to society? Right. The birth so of Jesus. The birth of Jesus. Every year, December 25th, we're supposed to be celebrating Christ's birthday, right? right? So we learned that. We started doing that thing. The way you that's not in the Bible. Christmas, like you said, is not in the Neither is celebrating Christ's birthday. Neither are stoplights. I mean, so again, and going off of the principle of, of what Jesus, of what was done with Jesus, he was celebrating. The angel punished the princess and the king's children. So what is the thing about the sacrifice? Angels rejoice. People rejoice. Shepherds rejoice. I got the origin of birthday. We, 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 go, we go, no, no, no. It says, it, says, it is assumed that the Greeks adopted the Egyptian tradition of celebrating the birth of God. I'm going to get with him, and we're going to sit down. I like y'all. I like y'all. I'm hey, I like calling hey, hey, you. This, this is what we're challenging, right. Pastor. All the across the United States, right? Because people are probably getting, are you trying to take my the No, we're not. No, we're not. What we're doing is giving you the correct doctrine to teach you so we can get our kingdom back. Because what we've learned is this doctrine of the slave master. It's just, listen, you're just a new generation of that pastor that was on the plantation. No, no, no. Yeah, you are. No, not, not until we sit down, because again, this is one of the things y'all making unfair assumptions. You're making unfair assumptions. That's not fair. Because I could know, because I, again, when I was talking about congregation, I could have easily, as an unlearned person, which I'm not, said, those devils out there, they're the devil. Did I call them people with me? No, we're not. Exactly. Because I'm not unlearned. I'm not unlearned. What I do, what I will say is, we have doctrinal differences. The perception of scripture is different, but there are a lot of things I can agree with because it's worth it. There's a difference between our truth and truth. 
So we'll sit down with you. Did you I have my work. All right. Y'all brothers have a good one. Appreciate you. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I have an important message about your leaders in the Christian church. Your bishops, pastors, reverends, and ministers are all lying to you and leading you straight to damnation. The truth is, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are the biblical Israelites, according to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Jesus Christ is a black man with white wool hair, according to Revelation chapter 1, verses 14 and 15. We as the Israelites must keep the commandments in the faith of Christ to receive salvation, as it is written in Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. I've challenged and debated Christian authorities all over the world on these issues. Not one of them has been able to negate this truth. Your pastors have led you astray, worshiping pagan holidays and false gods, just as in the days of old. So join us on our mission to restore the true nation of Israel before the decree goes forth. The work is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Visit our website at israelunite.org or call us at 855-484-4842 to learn more and visit our schools. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.